Okay, in this game here, I'm just looking at, um, le you know, dealing with tilt or, you know, when you're going through your games and you've done your warm-up matches and you're happy, you're comfortable, and then you go in and you play your, your games that you're focusing on and yet it still doesn't feel right. So you take a disadvantage in a game or, you know, I'm talking playing online here. Um, so I'm looking at techniques and strategies of ways of dealing with that situation and the key thing for me is it's that pause moment it's that moment where whoa okay that was a bit quick and uh, let's go on to another one don't know why that happened and uh, go for a new one yeah it's that pause moment you know where we all sit there and go i'm not too sure what to do next you may have seen it a million times before in your previous games but you're saying to yourself well something doesn't seem right or maybe i want to move in a different way on this occasion i mean like this this move here i mean this guy's done this poor move or girl whichever and now they've opened up the dark square bishop it looks a little bit odd but all i'm saying is for me is i think i can just push through the center here now at this point it depends on what the opponent does next so simply just gonna grab so it's getting a little bit more normal as we speak but what they look like they're trying to do is champion these pawns here so in the back of my head I'm going can I get rid of these pawns because they have fallen into their lair already they've given me the pawn I've attacked it they've still got these two center pawns that are gonna come ramping down the middle and start trying to control the area so what can I do about that? So I need to go king safety first as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to bring my bishop here. Okay, so he's steadily just inching them down, making space for his white square bishop. I am a castling. I'm keeping it as basic as possible. I'm keeping king safe. So they're actually going for their king safety and they're going they're treasuring these pawns. And what we want to try in our heads is try and circumvent that and get rid of them. But if we push on to it, it's just probably just going to push past. So I'm going to develop my bishop, which feels normal and ordinary to me. And then all, all of a sudden you see something speedy from the opponent, like you've fallen into their plan. So he's done this knight move dead quick, or she has done this knight move dead quick. So instantly I'm thinking, well, I should just take that off the board. He'll bring his pawn into the center, so then he'll have three pawns linked in the center. There's no issues for me in that sense because we like to work around the center anyway. But am I playing into their hands? My knight doesn't have any protection on it so it, I'd end up dancing around or spending time protecting with a pawn here when I could simply have taken it off the board and I may have rued the day that I didn't take the knight off the board and I was just being fancy. So I feel okay we know they're going to attempt to try and get these pawns down at the minute they're not pushing them down so fairly happy at the minute my knight probably needs defend um developing is it a case of bringing it out to here trying to manage this square or do we come underneath I'm actually doing this. It's tempting to push this pawn to try and block off the center, but that's really like stone wall type, and we don't really like that anymore. Right, so they've castled. What feels wrong with this picture? I'm so tempted to push this pawn up here. It's just the queen is going to come and put a check on, win the pawn. So do I feel comfortable bringing my knight over here to bringing it over to here? Because it's not doing, it's really blocking this pawn's activity. And this pawn really doesn't have any protection. It's going to be targeted, so we know this is going to be targeted. So we could push this pawn first, couldn't we? Is it a positive? It seems a bit flimsy, doesn't it? Pawn up, maybe, maybe develop the rook. Again, we've been through that process again of you know 
getting the rook here, pushing the pawn up, pawn takes, rook takes, rook doesn't have any place in the centre of the board. It looks nice, but it doesn't really benefit you in the long run. I suppose it could just act as a, act as a defender. Get the queen off the back. He's looking to push the pawn down here. I'm pushing this pawn. Because then if we can start pushing this pawn up here, then if the queen does come, he's not winning the pawn. Our knight doesn't have any protection, so we'd have to worry about that a little bit later on. So it's those magical pause moments where you try and regroup as best possible. I'm not saying I'm winning anything in this game, it's just... Um, Bishop's now coming defending the pawn. It's defending it and it's not doing anything, but realistically I think it's looking through here, looking through to here. So that's how far I think that's planning to go. I do have sights of bringing my knight across the board to give my, my king some company. But we were going to be pushing this pawn up as well. I think I'm feeling comfortable about doing the pawn push up. Maybe their queen's looking to come and attack our knight here. So then we can still move it across. Uh, gotta be careful because you know what? I could be trapping my bishop country up. Uh, Bring the bishop back. Okay, let's go with that. Let's push. Trying to follow the plan that we talked about in the early part of the game. Oh, the queen's come just there though. And so it's looking to maybe, maybe it's thinking it's gonna do that check later, but it's defending the pawn. It's saving these pawns you know for the end game okay do we bring the knight around now then or do we push we don't no we don't push dear me trapping my own bishop push then he pushes down <clears throat> Or he takes, but I don't think that they're going to take the treasure in the pawn structure in the centre. I think that's the only bit of trouble I can give them, isn't it, really? Just pushing here, trying to disturb those pawns. Even if he pushes down, at least we're making some inroads into getting a disturbance in the centre. No, he's not actually doing any of that. Let's just bring the bishop back. Try to keep space of towards his king area as best possible as well, but that's a that's at a later stage if we potentially get that off. So he's either it's considering pushing. He's very, oh, he's not doing any of that. So the queen takes. So then we're going to take the pawn. Bit of destruction. We're happy with that. We're happy with that destruction. Okay. So obviously the bishop now has got sights on the knight. Queen has got a bit of access. Okay, let's just um, get the Queen involved a bit. It's going to be dropping this pawn. Oh, he's attacking my Queen. Let's attack his Queen. Take with the pawn or the Rook. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. Let's just be mindful of that okay he's not going for the quick so he wants his pawn to again sit in the center so it's really like a pawn controlling center type person okay so we could go oh man that would have been nice if that pawn was just down there right okay so let's have a look at this we could bring the bishop here attacking their queen what have we relinquished? So we're there. So then he decides to take. Then we take with the pawn. Or is there? There. So we've got one one piece. Well, two pieces defending this pawn. 
So if the queen did take, the knight would take the queen off the board. So they're not going to do that. So I think they'll just take our queen. They take our queen, we take this pawn off of the attack. Is that being too arty or what? We just take his queen, then his knight takes. Gonna bring the bishop through. I don't see there's too much trouble there, really, is there? No, he's not gonna do that. He's just gonna take the queen off the board. Yeah, take the queen off the board. And we did say we're gonna take just see what the picture looks like. He's got the two on one on the pawn, definitely, yes, yeah, so we we're not gonna take with the rook. So we've messed with the centre pawns a little bit. But he's not going to be able to change his natural playing style. He's wanting to champion these pawns coming down. So this is probably going to push on. But he's only got one piece there. So the rook is probably going to come and defend. And start pushing down that way. This knight's got play up to a point. Mm hmm all right what's this what's this that looks like a bit of a non move I mean we've got chance to take his um, bishop off the board really because we'll have the x-ray through so we'll bring the bishop here and just take the bishop off so now we're behind the pawn the only thing that can take the knight is this knight his own knight oh look at my time <gasps> 146 oh, where did that go I was so busy thinking of their pawn oh, I'm having to bullet it out again oh they've resigned oh marvellous are we winning are we winning I don't know maybe it's because of the pawns in the middle we've blocked them off as best possible I'm going to have to check because of we were ready to fight I don't think we were winning but I think we were ready to have a bit of a battle so this was the game that we were talking about on how to deal with the tilt and whoa nice percentage hey, 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 I got a 90.7 um, accuracy they got 88.1 nice one okay but let me have a look at this analysis thing here just want to break it down yeah so the idea of tilt i think when you try and get rid of that tilt and you know that sort of losing streak or the feeling that you know you're constantly getting whooped all the time and so let's go to the end and see what it was actually the situation regarding the evaluation so I think a key focus it's it's showing with this slow evaluation it's showing plus 0.95 so it's neither here nor there exactly so we were here ready to fight we wanted to really get back into the game I really again wanted them to play it through I um, don't really like winning like that just because you know I don't know I don't know you know this is not going to help me really understand and push forward in tilt mode so there's nothing doing there but he, I did expect him to potentially come and own a file you know with the rook but if they did go there we would have this situation unlocking at this situation now so we wouldn't even consider here because that would be a bit of a loss so if they saw that then they wouldn't go and own here as a human what they would probably do is maybe look and protect the pawn maybe or something or readjust the knight because the northern knight is going to get hit so let's say they move the knight back just because they know it's going to get hit it's in a bad position can they adjust somehow 
it still can't get out yet when it can if it wants to double its pawns up so if they move back obviously then we would be looking to try and own this file which would make sense and then from there that would be fairly okay so those key points would work quite nicely for us in that sense interesting game i might have to play another one just to try and maybe see if we can circumvent the tilt 